What is up everyone, it's Punkshu here with Battle Axe Theater. Today we're going to take a look at our next installment in our power leveling guide series as we dive into Io over on Jupiter. Let's go ahead and jump in. Before we get started, I wanted to mix it up and talk a little bit about leveling a weapon with no other weapons equipped. If you've taken a look at the link listed in the previous video, the Lith Power Leveling Guide, there's a link there that describes how affinity is divided. Affinity that is gained from other players is evenly distributed across your weapons and your Warframe, essentially dividing it up 25% per slot. What this means is that if you had three weapons equipped, 75% of the affinity gain would be divided up between your three weapons. And if you only had one weapon equipped, that affinity would be divided up 25% to your Warframe and 75% to your single weapon. In this case, we brought with us Atlas as well as a Quanta Vandal that we're gonna be leveling up today on our mission in IO. So let's go ahead and take a look at the star chart. So today is gonna be a little bit different. In previous missions, we've taken a look at missions that were mostly Grenier based and a little bit dark, a little bit gloomy. So today I wanted to take the opportunity to visit Io over on Jupiter, a mission that's a little bit more lively, if you will, than the previous missions we've taken a look at. And this mission is awesome because it's not only going to have a full group almost every time that you run it, it's great affinity, but it also offers some of those drops that we've talked about in previous missions, or at least similar to. Uh, the drops that you'll find here are going to be neural sensors, which you'll need later for crafting your Warframe Neuroptics, as well as Oxium, which will be in short supply as you progress through the game. And this is a really great place to come back and farm it anytime that you need to. After 10 waves of IO defense, we were able to get our Quanta Vandal up to rank 22. In addition to this, we received two neural sensors, which we can use for crafting again later on, as well as some Oxium, which will be in, again, short supply. And by running this multiple times over and over, we can start to build up a good stock of this. I hope this was, again, beneficial to everyone watching today. And stay tuned next week for our next video as we take a look at one of our more endgame missions for power leveling your Forma builds and maximizing your affinity gains so that way you can level those weapons up faster and get those Forma builds finished. Until next time, you guys have a good one.